I filmed this video on November 24th, Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. I like to point out, I think I said 25th in, the cut, in that one couple of those train videos and realize it's the 24th. I'm off by one day. But there's some clay pipe I spotted a minute ago. I was trying to figure out where it was. And there's this. I'm not sure what this is. I'm in the coal mine town of Pembroke. Pembroke, West Virginia. This just past this, the coal camp of Fire Creek. All oh, these are ghost towns now. It's like nobody like lives there anymore. I'll get up here and another train will probably come. Seen two trains already. So, got some good train videos here. I uh, steps to nowhere. I would step forward, but there's no floor. I've missed that. The last few times I've been here, I've missed that. Now my camera body is almost completely dead. I think I got just enough juice to film this and maybe one more train if I'm lucky. But I do got a, pit, a video of, of Billy I filmed back in October. Then Fire Creek and Soul. I'm going to re-upload those videos. I started the copies of those from April. I mean, I've done that trip back in April of this year. I re-upload those videos. I'm not sure what this used to be. Foundations might be the coal camp houses and the office buildings. I'm not sure. I've not figured out where the coal temple was here. I've been here a few times, but I'm trying to figure out where the actual coal temple used to sit. There's a road or something over there. I'm not sure it's a road or railroad right away. I think it's a railroad right away. I took some pictures of it a while back. I can tell where a bridge used to be. Which I'll point that out in a bit later in the video when I get to it. I really got to figure out why I was done with my portable battery pack to charge my phone with and my camera with. I've been trying to find it for about a week now. It's somewhere in my house. I set a couple different backpacks I use when I do these trips. But it wasn't in any of them, so not in the one I got with me or the other two I use. So I don't know why I'm done with it. Plenty of wash tubs up here, that's for sure. All these coal camps seem to be that way. If you look, there's a lot of old metal wash tubs all over the place. It's like they were left behind. Well, I was trying to get some in the video. I don't know if I got any in the video. I keep spotting them and walking past them, but I'm not exactly pointing the camera on. Over there is where I think the old road. Or railroad right away, one or two. My guess is railroad right away, up the hill a little ways more. Yeah. Last time I made here, the video didn't turn out. My camera glitched, and the whole video had this red glare in it. The two times before that, my camera body wanted to die when I get here. I just don't have much luck filming this place. Still cool find though. There's that. I think that's an old road. I'm going to follow that here in a minute for a little ways. The opposite direction behind me and will follow the opposite direction I'm walking because the direction I'm walking, the bridge is gone. Is that there? That might be that. I know there was a rail line that went up on the top of Billy Mountain at one time. A piece of mine's way up in the hollow. So it's possible that was the rail line. It's 
supposed to be some kind of narrow gauge wallow, but there's a step but in a standard gauge wallow. A standard gauge wallow didn't go as far as the narrow gauge. The narrow gauge wallow line went a long ways. Yep. But here's the best for last. Saving the best for last. The old powerhouse. This building is amazing that it still stands like this. And it still sets good shape. Be of an old cut stone structure. You live in the middle of nowhere. I've been hiking for almost two hours to get here. Well, it won't take me that long to get back to get back because I won't be stopping. Well, actually, I'll stop them then more because I may have to try to redo that video. I stop, well, actually, I may be stopping. I can't say I won't. I stopped like two different times to film trains and one time to snap some photos of some coke ovens. But the train comes, I will stop to film the trains. I can't say I won't be stopping. But this is amazing. That window still got the frame in it. I don't know what took off running. Probably a squirrel or something like that. But I love this. The roof's been gone for years and it looks like a little bit more the more is falling over there, but it's all powerhouses and almost perfect safe aside from missing the roof and a little bit of damage over there but amazingly you can tell where the door used to be there let's look at that okay 1940 something 194 well, I can't tell. That's wall off. I, I would think this would have been built before the 1940s. Oh well. Maybe it's repaired. Okay, I'm trying to go over there, but I can't seem to get around all these storm buses. There we go. Those things have those tiny fuzzy berry thorns. They're not very big, but they still hurt when you get them in your skin. They're almost impossible to get out. But I'm standing on what was the road, I don't know if it's the road or rail line. I'm thinking it's a road, uh, actual railroad right away. But I'm not 100% sore. Let's see what the bridge used to be. Because right here it's kind of obvious, you can actually see where it keeps going. The reason I'm not going that way, not this trip, because it'd be very, very difficult to get down here. You got to climb down this, jump across the rocks, over the creek, climb back up. I'm not prepared. You know, I may do that come springtime when about late March or early April. Maybe I'll plan something like that and actually try it bring my big backpack for the backpacking trips that I do when I do a second high south blazing trail and find a camp spot here that might be fun I'm kind of curious if there's anything up there I seriously think there might be remains of some more coal mining towns up that way that I've never been to before it's one of the reasons I'm wanting to follow that this way is taking me down in the soil though I think I'm going to end the video here so I can actually snap some photos and then I'm going to follow that a little, a little ways and see what's down there then head back to the thermos so I can get in the car and go home while it's still daylight. <laughs>